I'm doing Your the second. intro, right? Yes, yes, correct. All right, I'll start recording. I'm ready. You can go. Oh, I had a very bad joke in my mind that I might not just say out loud. Um, say all the right. joke. No, say the joke. We want to hear no, no, it. We, no, no. Hear we, it. we don't want to hear it. Welcome, we Sebastian. It. <laughs> all of us. All of you. <laughs> hey, we want to hear you. Uh, we want to hear like, you. Like in a stadium, right? It's almost... Exactly. 60, I mean, hey, we, we have 60,000 listeners for yes, every episode, right? And, and we are not... Plus or minus 59,000. And from, from the, my sweating, whenever I have to enter a debate with you, I would say it's almost almost a physical exercise that we do. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a joke. That's a transition, correct? Yeah, because I kind of forgot half the joke while we were joking. So I, th I thought I, I, <laughs> I, I transition into the motion, which is. Uh, so are you? I wait, 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 wait. Come on, we need to, yeah, yeah, we need to bring it peacefully peacefully and first so, of all we need to say hello yeah hello <laughs> hello everyone hello, 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 another everyone. week another episode we completely we completely threw out all our routines out of the window because we are a little bit under pressure here as it's good for something competitive Time that's about pressure. to happen but it's good to change the introduction sometimes so people are going to be startled hey yeah. where's the hello hello how are you yeah and yes i'm all right fantastic and, and, you're depressed and frankly sick. i never cared how you are so why not <laughs> why not stop asking that yeah that's that's good I'm competitive, so let's, baby. Let's compete. <laughs> let's compete. <laughs> because after all, debating is a is a real sport. Well, you, we can debate that. Uh, in fact, we will <laughs> we debate that. <laughs> because the motion today is very similar. It's about esports. What are esports? Tell me. Well, that's basically people playing computer games competitively in front of an audience. It's almost like sports. debating competitively in front of our audience. So okay. all the ingredients what kind of are there. Games, though? You wanna, for people who don't play video games, what kind of games would you play um, in a competitive there, there, way? There are there are a couple of uh, typical games to play. So one one category I believe is first person shooters, where you walk through a virtual environment and you fight your enemies off with weapons like uh, I don't know a machine gun or things like that. Um, another category is strategy gaming. Um, a very famous game there is StarCraft, where you basically, well, you, you're 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 playing an alien race and you control an army of devices fighting against another player controlling another army in a strategic way. Um, I don't know what else. Maybe FIFA, that's a, a soccer game, also seem to be played in these settings. I guess uh, the main ingredient is having a standard set of games where you can get better by doing it more often and then add an audience and add a competition. And that's what and money. is called money, esports. Maybe. Huh? Money. And add money as well. Something. Mix? Yeah, something to be won. Um, esports is a pretty big deal. In Korea, there are esports events that fill stadiums, like literally, like, uh, like the kind of. They attract the kind of crowd you would expect here in Europe from soccer or from baseball in the States. They are like a packed stadium full of people watching others playing computer games. So don't give it away too much. So the question is, is it a, if, it, if it looks like football, is it, can it be considered a real sport? And that's the debate, the motion we are going to debate today yes. on. Why did you come up with this debate motion? Because you're the one who suggested it. Where did oh. it come from? Do you remember? I don't remember. Probably, right, as nice. most most motions I come up with, coming across either some discussion, or reading an article somewhere online. So that's some probably argument, has been the case here as well. Some argument with a friend, or or I didn't didn't Ma table or maybe I was, sometimes I I suggest <laughs> motions after having had an argument of it. Uh, that was not one of those though. I I don't right. know. Maybe I maybe I've seen that uh, an, an article somewhere, and I wondered. Yeah, it's been a while since I suggested that particular motion, so I. I don't know anymore. I don't know who's been away and not available, huh? You. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we flip the coin as usual, and randomly uh, the sides, the following sides were assigned. You will be in favor of the motion, which is esports is no real sport, and I will be against that. And I will kick off our debate today with my first two minutes. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Sebastian goes first and argues against the motion. An activity requiring skill or physical 
prowess and often of competitive nature. This is the definition of sports. And skills for playing video games are required just like any other sport. Hours and hours of training, careful planning, precise timing, skillful execution. It's a mind sport just like chess. And peak mental condition requires likewise being in a good physical condition. And players need to focus and concentrate absolutely. If golf is a sport, if curling is a sport, so why not video games? Online and offline competitions are also organized. They're streamed online. They're broadcasted on TV, on TV channels, just like any other sport. And any bad image that you may or we may have of esports, I believe, is linked to the fact that it's something modern. It's a new thing. It's a little bit, and maybe the analogy is a bit... Uh, is a bit far-fetched, but it's a bit like we would not accept easily the creation of a new religion because the West well-established religions have been around for a thousand years or more. So likewise, new sports are like, ah, is that really a sport? It's been around for just 20, 30 years. We don't know. But actually, it has all the criteria that fits any definition of any regular sport. And just like any other sport, you have amateurs and professionals, which you count in the millions. In the case of video games, it's even the case of hundreds of millions of players, way more than some sports, which are probably recognized by the Olympic Committee. Interestingly enough, we talk about the Olympic Committee. It's actually considering having esports as a real game, as a real sport for the next Olympics, the Summer Olympics in the next few years, maybe in Paris 24, 2024, and maybe Tokyo 2020. It's not approved yet, but it's being discussed. So there is some merit to having that discussion. So I'll close off for now, but there's so many uh, elements here which show you that there's enough people, there's competition, there's skills required, training, it requires a lot of energy and sweat and tears, so it's just like any other sport. And now on to Dirk. Let's hear his argument. Yeah, it requires timing, energy, tears, like baking a pizza. So, your definition. You said a competitive activity with the aim to use uh, and maintain skills, something like that. The one thing that struck me, a little word that you didn't use, was physical activity. You just said activity. And that's maybe something worth stressing. Uh, why is it saying in the Wikipedia, by the way, that sport is a physical activity, not just a competitive activity? Because, you know, your body is somehow involved. Otherwise, binging Game of Thrones would also be considered a, a sport. Uh, baking pizza with your friends and then trying to eat it faster than your friend would also be considered a sport. And just because you made the example of chess and curling, yes, I would say those aren't sport either. No matter how many times we call it sport, it's not. Because I believe... A sport requires you to be doing something with your body. And just clicking a mouse and typing a keyboard uh, at a keyboard is not enough to be considered a sport. All the other things you described are observable symptoms. Oh, there are plenty of people watching. Yeah, that's just like competitive cake eating. There are plenty of people watching that. Would we call it a sport? I don't know if we would call that a sport. Oh, there are stadiums filled with people, an argument that I made in the intro. Yeah, maybe. But again, just because we come in a stadium to watch something, it's not a sport. Otherwise, a Rolling Stones concert would be sport too. Now, the question, it begs the question, why is it that the Olympics Committee considers it, that we ha even have this debate? Why it's, is it called a sport? And the answer to that is easy. Money. When you call it a sport... You unlock certain pools of money. You can put it in the context of certain other events. So there is a lot of incentive to call it a sport. And that's the reason why we try to color things as a sport. But overall, when you really look at it, it's not sweat and tears. It's people competing with each other, which is fine, which is fun, which a lot of people like watching. But it's not enough to actually constitute it a sport. <laughs> Now it's Sebastian's turn. Let's hear his rebuttal. Pizza eating. Could be a sport. The problem is it has limited complexity. It requires almost no training or lack of intense training. So it would not fit the bill for, for a sport. But I would not have a problem with it if it became, I don't know, some kind of 
something extremely complex and requiring skills, but I don't, see, I can't see how. So I think we're we're confusing multiple things that cannot be put in the same bag. Let's talk about the the physical aspect of activity. Fine, you consider chess is not a sport. Well, that it is considered a sport by instances, and it is has competitions. But let's put aside the fact that because you're using your mind and your brain and maybe just your fingers for now for picking on a mouse or a joystick, you consider this is not a sport. But imagine, imagine, and this is what I've been talking to my siblings about for the past uh, 20 years. I would love to play video games where you're, it's basically VR, virtual reality, where you have devices on your head, in your hands, and you're moving around. I want this. I want to play a first-person shooter game, and I want to sweat. But without obviously getting killed, right? Like not not a war. But I'm I'm a fan of these games. But I want to actually feel the the weight of a rifle in my hands, and I want to shoot. I want to aim. I want to I want to crouch. So I would not be surprised that video games evolve in the next five to ten years in that area. What will you make of that afterwards? It will become full fully fed sports in that case. So maybe we're just very very close because we're missing this. True physical activity, although brain activity and you're still sweating, you're still using a lot of calories and you need to focus. So I'll still contend that today it is considered, it could be considered a sport, but it is going that way anyway. And the frontier between now and tomorrow is very, very tenuous. It's very, very narrow. Third aspect, you mentioned money and the incentive of money. Well, yeah, people do sweat and do, do cry about this. Even actually gamers die because they play so much. They don't take rest. I had no idea you could die from exhaustion. So yes, it is actually fatigue can be induced by playing video games so much. Um, but here's here's the main the main thing which I think underlying what you're saying, which which bothers me, and I'm and I'm I'm sincere here. I think there's a slight implicit tendency to demonize people who play esports because it's associated with teenage life or young adult life, and it's a new thing. So we think ah these guys these guys or these girls are just wasting their time. They're not doing anything real or tangible. They're not really practicing any skill. They're not learning the piano. They're not learning to be tennis champions, right? And I, and I worry that there's a bit of an implicit demonization uh, at hand here. Let me close off my three minutes here with two small aspects I want to emphasize on, which I did not mention before. One thing is governments have started regulating that industry, by the way, classifying it just like any other traditional sport. This is happening in a number of countries. And as I said earlier, the Olympic Committee is also considering classifying this as a sport. Finally, another fact why computer gaming is a sport is that athletes, these digital athletes, already have coaches and analysts behind them while they train for about 10 to 12 hours a day. Even U.S. colleges and universities are offering scholarships for gamers. That tells you something about the level of importance and why this is serious stuff. And this is a real game, a real sport, sorry, uh, just like any other one. Now, it's Dirk's turn. Let's hear it. Sorry to burst your bubble. No, it's not telling you anything about the fact that it is a sport. It just tells you something. There's money to be earned. And yes, if you can train to get better in something and then make money potentially, you find all the other side effects. There is an advertising business barking up, of which the Olympic Committee wants to have a piece of the cake as well. There are coaches that want to tell you how you get better. There are people that do it all the time. And contrary to what you try to say here, I'm a player, my, a gamer myself. I enjoy playing games. I do think it's serious. And I do, we had that argument before. I do believe it's worthwhile spending your time in playing computer games. I just beg to differ as far as the definition of gaming goes. Now, you've made a few arguments I'd like to, to counter here. Number one, the complexity. Oh, it let me think of a sport that's low in complexity. Maybe, I don't know, weightlifting? How about weightlifting? Would you consider that a sport? Maybe. Is it complex? I doubt it. That's about training up muscle and then lift weights. Let's face it, that's probably lower in complexity than gaming. A lot lower, I would even argue. And there are other sports like this. Um, so the complexity itself does not, does not really count for whether or not something is a sport or not. But the physical activity, I would say, makes an important element in that. And in that example, yes, if you start doing your first-person shooter using a VR, VR glasses in a standardized environment and showing physical activity, yes, maybe at some point that's called a sport. Just as much as you can do bike racing on an 
race simulator on a bike that's not actually moving, but just there for you to be active on it. You can do these things and it is sport. It's a sportive activity. And this is the thing. I mentioned it earlier. If you call clicking on a on a mouse and typing on the keyboard a sport, then maybe binging Game of Thrones with your mom is a sport as well. And it may also involve sweating and blood and tears. I don't know. I I just I have really trouble with the definition, and I enjoy watching it. I I don't have a problem with it being being um, a competition. And I don't have a tr uh, have trouble with it being televised and being regarded, and uh, even even players can earn money. I don't care, but I wouldn't call I don't know the Eurovision Song Contest a sport event. I wouldn't call um, a competitive pizza eating event a sport event. Neither would I call esport a real sport. It's a, a it's a discussion around terms because people hope to unlock certain pools of money. That's all there is. And the more we discuss it, the more validity it gets in the eyes of the public, in the eyes of the governmental organizations and the Olympic Committee and what have you. And the more likely it becomes that they call it a sport because it seemed to be something everybody wants them to do. Doesn't mean it's really a sport. Oh, and by the way, pizza eating. Turns out you can train for this. And turns out you can't get better at this and faster. So maybe, and it is a physical activity. So maybe it's a sport too. Final statements. Sebastian goes first. There is money to be made, yes. But there's no need to talk about making money to actually look about the merits of esports being considered a real sport. Two main aspects in conclusion. Number one, skills. A lot of skills and training are required to become really good. There's no way. There's no way I can win against someone who has practiced for thousands of hours on a video game. They will mechanically necessarily become better than I am. They have coaches and they train for a long time. So yes, this is the core definition of a sport. The second big point, the infrastructure is being set up, is set up. You have Online competitions, you have stadiums filled, as you've mentioned in the intro, of gamers and coming for, for these offline competitions. The governments have noticed, they see hundreds of millions of players, they regulate, they're starting to regulate this, the industry, just like any other traditional sport. So in conclusion, we have all the ingredients, everything that looks like a sport, it is a sport. Derek. There is no way you can do the same things without training. So is doing math. There is no way you calculate complex calculations better than a math professor who spent hours and hours in learning that. Is math a sport now too? I doubt it. There is a tradition in uh, some countries in the US where they carve sculptures out of butter. I would like to see your butter carving. I doubt that you would be good at it without training. Is it a sport, even having spectators and everything and being televised? No. Why? Because it lacks the physical activity. Yes, for better or worse, to be a real sport, there has to be even a remote chance of you hurting yourself in the process and you overtraining or undertraining. And none of these factors are actually at play when it comes to esports. It's people sitting in front of computers, which is awesome, which helps their brains, which is fun to watch, which is all these things, but it is no sport. Sorry. No, not sorry. <laughs> so what do you really think? I really think it's actually not a sport. I think our definition of oh, sport really? is ridiculous, but I okay, do okay. I do at the same at the same point at the same time I think the definition we seem to have right now in sport basically makes it so that we can call everything a sport and everything we call a sport, including esport, has the right to be called a sport. You cannot really make an argument for chess and not for base, uh, StarCraft. So right, as right, long right. as you keep uh, keep chess and pool billiard for that matter a sport, yeah, then or curling, then yes, of course, then esport is a sport too. But I would argue none of these are actually sport uh, sportive activities. Fair enough. Fair enough. I didn't have an opinion on it. I just thought, I just <laughs> thought and came with this argument. So I agree with you. If we come with that with that kind of broad definition, then we can include a lot of things. Still, I do think by the by the time I, I just thought of it as we were discussing. By the way, this VR thing, 
and would have yeah. been waiting for like 20 years. It turns it into a I sport. I do think in that case, it will become a real sport. Because yeah, it will also, be like... also happens the other way around. More and more sport is augmented by technology. So at some point, those things will converge. So you will have more tech in That's sport true. and more Good sport point. in tech. Um, but the training aspect of, oh, you need to train to get better, that's true for pretty much anything humankind ever invented. So I can get Fair better enough. at chewing gum if I do it more often, I'm, I suppose. So it's, yeah. But it, it was a fun debate. It's fun to wrap your mind around. It's, uh, yeah, yeah in absolutely. The, in the end, you can't persuade me both. That's why I'm most curious as to know where you're getting your inspiration from in terms of the source of the motion. Right? I, I honestly don't use. remember. If I if uh, it comes back to yeah. me, I will let you know. But I, I honestly don't deal. remember. I'm just curious. Just curious. And in the future, I will make a note of this, how I get to those, <laughs> so I can answer that question. All so right. So, listeners, tell us what you thought. You can vote on todebate.eu. Thumbs up if that convinced you that it is not a real sport. Otherwise, thumbs down. If you're a video gamer, let us know which games you play. Maybe we can oh, yeah. meet each other somewhere in an online stadium or an offline stadium. You can fight against Sebastian in Fortnite. Yeah, well, I haven't, I've, I've uninstalled it. But he didn't train <laughs> enough. <laughs> no. I, I uninstalled it the minute they switched some group mode game and I sucked, basically. I had enough. I've been killed by nine-year-olds <laughs> who practiced for thousands of hours since they were babies. Yeah, that's what enough happens. Kids. Yeah. And we're dancing all, right. all the time over your dead body in that game. All right. It was a pleasure, Sebastian. As always, thank you for listening. Thank you to you. Thanks. Bye. See you next time. Bye-bye.